As I read the online edition of the Hopo Valley News from my dorm room, I couldn't help but gaze at the opinion section and another article about how expensive the Hopo school budget is. To see another raging debate on whether or not to pass the school district budget really makes me upset. As a recent graduate of Hopo Valley, I've experienced how a strong budget can really improve a student's educational and social experience. And yes, I did say social experience. I hear people saying this and that about how we should be focusing on the core curriculum. As important as the education I received was to me, my social interactions were just as crucial. Whether it was communicating to new high school students through the peer leader program, learning the teamwork, learning the importance of teamwork and camaraderie during the inaugural years of fo Hopo football, or finding out how to live with different people on my Camp Algebra Middle School retreat. I was able to learn important school skills through many Hopewell school activities. The skills that these activities have taught me and my fellow students are something that should not be underappreciated. The budgets of music, art, and theater programs are investments in the future of many Hopewell graduates. As some recent grads choose to continue their education, Others have chosen to start their careers. Classes like auto shop and wood shop are just as important and applicable to some students' lives as history and algebra are to others. As our school system and nation tries to leave no child behind, our school system is going to need a strong budget to make sure this is really true. I have seen the budgets of programs like wood shop, auto shop, and art cut during my years at Hopo Valley and can only imagine a rejected budget would continue this trend. Please note that I am not downplaying the education I received through the Hopewell school system. I will always remember the kindergarten skills I learned with Mrs. Kroll, the middle school mathematical teachings of Mrs. Kane and Mrs. Lamato, and the high school educational and life lessons of Mr. Schrager, Coach Caldwell, Mr. Flagel, Ms. Laporte, and Mr. O'Brien. I think this long list is a testament to the teaching abilities of the Hopewell school system. The educational experience I took from Hopewell Valley has prepared me for my collegiate ventures in a myriad of ways. Not only do I find myself academically prepared, but better prepared in organization, technology, athletically, and in the community. While I've seen students come to school and be a victim of over-independence, emotional stress, or even the freshman 15, my fellow Hopewell graduates seem to be well prepared for all the stresses higher education has to offer. I've read over the plans for the budget and find nothing unnecessary or exuberant. Even superficial things like new concrete in the parking lot can bring much benefit. Something as simple as fixing a physical problem of the high school can decrease safety hazards at our school, increase student satisfaction and performance with their school experience, and increase the interest of teachers into working at our school. This in turn improves the quality of teachers that can be employed at our school, which improves the education that can be offered. The proposed budget also includes a plan to hire more teachers. As a Hopewell Valley student, I cannot remember any of my classes having more than 30 children ever I wish I could say that as a Penn State student. My collegiate years have taught me how important a good teacher to student ratio is. Hopewell Valley is able to offer good class sizes to their students and this will surely continue with the passage of the budget. Through this discussion I have shown how much benefit a student receives from a Hopewell education. But they, of course, are not the only beneficiaries. The town of Hopewell can see this from the various entertainment and sporting events Hopewell schools offer, the tremendous community service programs students are involved in, and the amount of employment they offer to the community. The school system is also raising smart, sound citizens that would love nothing more than to return to Hopewell Valley. I hope that my son will be raised a Hopewell Bulldog and pray that he will come out of the Hopewell school system with as much respect and praise for his fellow students, teachers, and Hopewell citizens as I did.